Do you think there are any lines quite as iconic as It's me, Mario! We sure don't. A lot went into making this voice the one we know and love. And you might be surprised to find out just how Mario became Mario. Come on, let's go! Let's have more fun! Number 1. If you can believe it, Mario got that voice we know and love all thanks to a pizza monologue. According to actor Charles Martinet, he arrived at his original audition for Mario right when the auditioners were just about to leave. Luckily, they said they could squeeze him in and told him he'd be playing an Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Once he got over the initial shock that he was auditioning to play a video game character, something he was unfamiliar with, he went ahead and created one of the most iconic voices ever. They called action and Martinet dove straight into an impromptu monologue that had a very foodie theme. You go get some sausage, I'm gonna get some spaghetti, we're gonna put spaghetti and the sausage in the pizza, and then I'm gonna chase you the pizza. Ultimately, this monologue about pizza scored him the role. Number 2. Of course, the audition was only the beginning of the making of Mario's voice. Once Charles Martinet got the gig, Mario's classic voice had to prevail over the other styles he tried. Martinet was a voice actor who had a particular knack for mastering accents, so he had plenty of tools in his toolbox when it came to trying different voices and finding the one that best fit Mario. Originally, he wanted to give Mario a gruff, plumbery voice before realizing that he should go a different route. He recalled that many of Mario's fans were children. As a result, he decided instead to make Mario sound cheerful, and that choice changed history for the better. You can also make a choice to change history for the better by hitting that like button and subscribing to The Things Animated for more videos like this one. Number 3. Martinet's mastery of Mario made for a character with quite a bit of staying power. Charles Martinet has reprised his role for every Mario game where Mario actually spoke, starting with the Super Mario Bros. pinball machine in 1992. He then voiced Mario in the 1996 game Super Mario 64, which introduced most folks to Mario's voice. Here we go! He's continued to voice Mario through the latest game in 2022, and he has no intention of stopping, ever. Martinet once said, I would never get tired of doing Mario, because if I say, It's a me, Super Mario! What happens is someone smiles, and that makes it like it's the very first time I ever did it. His dedication to the role earned him the record for the most video game appearances as one character. But that doesn't mean that Mario is the only character that you know and love who Martinet has voiced. Number 4. Martinet has provided many voices for other beloved characters, both in the franchise and beyond. He also voices other characters in the games like Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, Baby Mario, and Baby Luigi, plus tons of other voices from other games. He even once voiced Donkey Kong. It's clear that in more ways than one, the Super Mario Bros. franchise and Charles Martinet are a match made in heaven. Number 5. So, what about the match between the Super Mario Bros. franchise and Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt has been receiving criticism for his own interpretation of Mario. Oh. Despite his huge fan base and the fact that we haven't really heard too much of his Mario voice at all. You probably know already that Chris Pratt is taking over for Charles Martinet in the highly anticipated upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie. Based on the trailers, he's been receiving some backlash for his interpretation of the iconic voice. Many fans think that Chris Pratt's version of Mario sounds too much like Chris Pratt and not enough like Mario. This could have something to do with the fact that Chris Pratt isn't usually a voice actor. That said, many fans think that the other famous folks in the cast seem to be doing a much better job embodying their iconic characters. Ultimately, we all know that the internet is notoriously tough to please when it comes to, well, everything. And this is especially true for reboots of famous source material. No matter who they got to voice Mario, Martinet left some pretty big shoes, or should we say overalls, to fill. Still, that doesn't mean that the folks behind the Super Mario Bros. movie aren't trying especially hard to make sure that everyone approves of Mario's voice. Number 6. In the time between the release of the first two trailers, the movie version of Mario got a new wahoo. In the wake of criticism over Mario's classic wahoo at the end of the first trailer for the film, the next trailer included a different wahoo. This proves that Nintendo and Illumination are hard at work making sure that the voice is just right to appease Mario fans and stay faithful to the game. Here's hoping that Chris Pratt does Mario's voice justice. And as for the video game version of Mario, you'll still be hearing his classic voice. Charles Martinet doesn't have any intention of abandoning his favorite gig. What do you think of Mario's new voice? Does it live up to the old one? Tell us your thoughts in the comments, and for more videos all about your favorite animated characters, be sure to like and subscribe to The Things Animated.